Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, when Professor Magua passed away, we saw that the government was reluctant in playing a role to help the family in preparation for the burial. And after that, of course, the former president Uhuru Kenyatta, he quickly moved with the speed to reach out to the former cabinet that he was working with, and he gave a directive to Matiangi to bring together this leader so that they can help the family in preparation for the burial of former cabinet secretary. So, after the government realizing this, we saw William Ruto sending Rigathe Gashagwa to Professor Magua's family to reach out to them so that they can understand in what way would the government help the family. And when Rigathe Gashagwa reached out to the family, he announced several things that the government is going to help in airlifting the body to the village, then providing tent chairs, and then also providing food for mourners who will be attending that service. And again, he extended to say that the government will extend by providing food to the families around Magoha village, so that now even the families will get something during that time. But then, after that, we have people who have argued differently, and they are differing with the government move. There are so many people. But I want us to check on two individuals. Number one, Didimas Barada. And number two, Robert Alai, because they have contrary view to the move by the government on what they want to do as of now. Though for me, what surprised me is how and what the government announced to do uh, concerning this battle. Because sometimes it is always not what you said, but how you say it. So, this was the reaction from Didimas Barada, a member of parliament elected on UDA ticket, a strong supporter of William Samuel Ruto. This is what he said. Why would the government help the family of Professor George Magoha? Just asking on behalf of Kenyans. This is a rich family and eh, the good professor who rested has children and family members who has who he assisted get employed left, right and center throughout his life when he would he was holding a position of influence. His wife has access to his wealth as well and I'm sure her account isn't struggling with the financial epilepsy like that of Mr. Otieno and Wanjiku. He rested without a huge hospital bill and with a premium medical cover unlike many hustlers who have rested in different funeral homes and their body are detained. Title deed, logbooks, logbooks are being demanded before release. All that the professor's family need is food and they can afford it. If the, if the cash is available, the government should pay fees for needy children from Siaya County or clear medical bills for Kenyans who are enslaved in hospitals for failure to pay medical bill. Me thinking this could be could the could the best way of honoring of Professor George Magoa. Hustlers challenge Kenyans trend. That is Didimas Barada. But then I also want to check on Robert Alai. This is what Robert Alai said in reaction to this. This is, sorry, the subtle insult by the deputy president to the people of Gema. From this statement, you can see him mocking you as hungry characters who think of nothing but food. This is a fool who should get who shouldn't get space in Gema. But then this is the settlement they was reacting to, quoting Rigade Gashagwa. The Department of Special Program will provide food for the family and the mourners, and in addition, will provide relief food to all the residents of Gema so that as we proceed to prepare for the burial all the surrounding home will be 
comfortable because there is food. That is what Robert Alai was reacting to. So you can see in one way or another, Robert Alai might be agreeing with the Didymus Baratha. I don't know your views, but you can tell me in the comment section. The reality is that Professor Mango has served this country diligently with all his heart, all his mind, all his blood to bring a change where necessary. That can never be wiped away. But we are sad that having now Machogu in the office, he's trying to rubbish everything Mangoha worked on. So as a state officer who worked, he needed a dignity send-off. The government can do that without making that kind of noise they have come out to do. Because sometimes it is not what you say, but how you say it. There are many people who have been helped, but you don't come out to announce what you are helping. The reality is that even the family has a spokesperson, and during the burial, or even before the burial, the family will have time to give a thanks, a vote of thanks to those who helped the family. I think this, in my view, was that the government should have helped. People will see what they are doing. You don't need to say. And secondly, the family, during the vote of thanks, will come out to mention what the government has done. That is the time they would have wait to take credit. But what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a government which want to play politics in a place where they just needed to help. politics because it's like they want to use this to play politics. The family has people who will speak. And they will give a vote of thanks. They will mention those names. They will say what government did. If it provided tents, food, lifting the body, they will mention. So for me, Kashaga was just supposed to shut down, shut up, wait for the family to respond. But let the government help. So it is all political. Because even when who called the other guys to come and help, he did not come to announce. Raila has reached out. He did not announce. But when Kashako reached there, it was announcement. <laughs> we are continuing with the panel discussion, but just a quick request for those who are watching and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. To our subscribers, I must say thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give our video a thumbs up. In my view, I just want to agree with them. Community member of parliament, Didmas Barasa. There's a better way we can honor Professor George Magoa. This was an educationist, a man who brought change. What can you do in the honor of Magoa so that he will continue living among Kenyans? That is the big question this government should have thought of. What can they do? And I want to agree again with Robert Alai. Whatever regard the Gashagwa announced is a kind of insult. This is a president, a deputy president, who was telling William Ruto to always prepare nyama and rice at Sagana State Lodge so that people will come and enjoy if the government wanted to do something so that they will be recognized for, and even they can earn credit from, it was for them to announce that today we want to sponsor maybe 1,000 students, those who are going to college, those who are going to high school, from game or CIA to help them go to school. At least sponsor 1,000 from that village or 100. Kama mmekua so nini, mini. Kama mmekua watu mkonogamu. Just announce that you are going to sponsor 1,000 students from that Magoha village to take training and others go to high school. So babu mudiana mifanyo tu size. In that way, at least, no one would have mocked this government. Then keep silent and help Magoha family in silence. That was going to impact the lives of many people. That's how you would make this village remember Magoha now and in future.
impact life to keep the legacy of Magoa. Food is something they will eat today, tomorrow they will forget. People have harvested, by the way. Hata kama wale wana wakona njia. Kuna njia ya kusaidia watu. Do you announce? Right now, the big problem is the parents who are now struggling with the school fees. So to make sense, is reach out to such families. Number two, jo, uh, I think Didmas brother is right also. At least I want to agree with him. We have people who are struggling with the bills in the hospital. So Angesema, during this time, because this was also a medical doctor, let us use this time to go and help these people. Just the way Sakaja was doing. During Christmas, Sakaja went to hospitals in Nairobi. And what did he do? He paid for those patients who had been detained in hospitals so that they can go and enjoy Christmas with their families. So in honor of Magoa as a professor of medicine, doctor of medicine, they should have helped people to pay some bills, even those bodies who have been detained because of bills. Waenda walipia watu. Waangalia watu wangapi wanatoka kule siaya. Wako na shida ya inayo. Help them. They will remember Magoa for life. So, what people will remember Magoa about is how just Magoa reached out to them. But remembering Magoa through what government had to do because of Magoa, it's not there. And I want to agree, this is an insult. And again, the government could have done it silently. Then let the family come out and give a vote of thanks. And from there, people will know, oh, so Ruto helped. The Shagwa helped, but it's not them. They used our money. So the government helped. As simple as that.